Okay. Okay. Patrick okay. Patrick okay. Thank you. Right. Thank you. <laughs> so good afternoon. Uh, so as Dan told us, to, told you, uh, I'm originally biologist, and then I have learned osteopathy, and my passion is really. Uh, sacrocranial wave and also em uh, emptiness of the brain ventricles, which are two main purposes used uh, in uh, osteopathy. Okay, so uh, in fact, there are two parts in the, the thing that I'm working on. The, the first one uh, just done said that I'm developing a few apps. We tried through the app to understand what's happening inside our body. So uh, when I first met Dan, it was uh, in relationship with uh, art coherence. And so we start the collaboration together, working on apps which uh, can measure art coherence. That was uh, our first step. And then, uh, now we have also an app we can measure the, the brain wave and the way you are meditating. This is one part. The other part, so this part is analyzing what's happening inside of you. The other part is try to interact with the body. So send some information to the body and hoping that the body will respond to this, uh, uh, this uh, wave we are sending. And this, this is what is done in Terrify. Uh, they are sending the famous Dan Cascade frequency to the, to the body and the body will react to it. And so for many years now I'm trying to use frequencies, music, to, inter to uh, go into interaction with the body. And I first start uh, a few years ago using single notes like, well, there are a lot of people trying to send single frequencies, single notes to the body. And then I, I went one step forward and one step forward and one step forward and I try to understand how th this wave, this external wave, can enter in resonance with the body because this is the main thing that we are trying to do is all the frequency in your body when, when your body is healthy the amplitude of this wave are, are quite nice but they can be completely flat at some part of the body and so by using resonance by uh, asking the body to enter in resonance with specific frequencies we would like to increase this wave So these are, well, the, I just, well, the first thing which is very important is that the body works like an hologram. So there, we can find the same thing, of the, the same, all the parts of the body everywhere in the body. I think it's well known that you, you can find uh, uh, different organs on your feet, you can find different organs on your ear, uh, eyes, on your ears, so the, the, the frequency you are listening uh, will react completely differently if uh, a part of your body is fixed or not. And the main proof uh, is that uh, when you make an audio vocal loop, so you take a mic, you put an, uh, an, uh, a, sp a small speaker on your ears, and between the mic and the speaker, you put a filter. And when you do this, for example here, you see that normally this is what you hear. If you place a filter here about 50 hertz, uh, uh, 500 hertz, I'm sorry. And then if you take the voice analysis, which is quite filled with a lot of frequency, you will see that the frequency of your voice will lose all the part which is not coming to your ear. So if you can't hear it, you can't speak. Right. Right. This was discovered by a, a French uh, doctor, which is called uh, Tomatis. Uh, he's make a lot. He made a lot of healing session with musical musical therapy, and uh, he, he he cured Mar Maria Callas' voice. She has lost part of her voice, and uh, he recovered the voice of Maria Callas just by making um, 
uh, movement of uh, waves and music uh, in her ears. Tomatis is very famous, and Patrick actually teaches and works in those schools. Amazing. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So everybody knows that when you're stressed, you're, you're losing part of your voice. These are two uh, sp uh, uh, voice analysis spectrum. The top one is an old and healthy person, which, and you see all the spectrum is filled. And the lower one is a young, 20, uh, 20 years old uh, boy, and he's passing uh, exam at school. And he's stressed. And he's very stressed. Look at the missing harmonics. There is a lot of missing harmonics. That tells you, harmonic inclusiveness lost. And of course, we can make a relationship also with uh, GDV, Kirlian Pictures. And you see, this is an healthy person with a lot of, um, of the, the frequencies uh, of the body which are going out. And here, this is this person, you see. Holes in the aura. The aura is a, a big part of the aura is missing. The uh, this is the biofield, yes. Where you lose harmonics, you lose aura. Okay. And, of course, we can make, uh, we can use this uh, uh, kind of device to measure if we have an interaction or not with uh, the body. And this is somebody which is quite healthy, but it uh, is a little bit stressed. He's getting divorced and he doesn't know what will happen. And if I make, th so the physical part is okay. But in the emotional part, there is something missing in the kidney and in the liver. And after just about 20 minutes of sending specific waves in, uh, using scalar waves, so a little plasma device, Which you see... Which means longitudinal. Well, yeah. yes. yes, it should be. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So you see, it's still again. So it actually restored the order oh, sorry. of the compressional yeah. longitudinal, if there's symmetry. Okay, and so we can ma make a comparison of, that, that's what I'm uh, often doing, comparison between the voice analysis, uh, uh, carry-on pictures, and also hearing test. And ear in, in hearing test, there are, you see there are two lines. One line is in blue, which is the sound you're getting through your tympanum. And the red line is directly to your internal ears. So we are shock circuited the tympanum and we get two curves. And the blue curves coming through the tympanum will tell you how you interact with external. And the red curves will tell you how you interact with internal part of your body. Could you just mention the transducers, the, the measurement technique, briefly? Yeah, but there are, it's, in fact, it's a, uh, a small transducer you put on the bone because the, your internal ear is inside, it, it's inside the temporal bone. So you place directly, instead of using a normal headset, you, you, you put a, a vibrator just on the, the, temp, uh, the temporal bone. So it's like a parent says to the child, I'm just not getting through to you. We we'll find out whether it got through. <laughs> and just rapidly here, what you see, well, what's in very important, normally, if you're perfectly healthy, not stressed, blah, 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 okay, you should have beautiful curves, the same thing on the blue and the red one. But we will get a lot of information with the difference between these two curves. And 1,000 hertz, here, you see there is a big gap on both ears. Uh, it's related to, well, let's say the, the stomach, the, the, third, the third chakra. And we have the same thing here. You see a lot of missing frequencies here. And again, take a look here. Missing harmonics? Missing. So you, you, find, you find it everywhere. And what's it's really interesting also, this is a... Uh, after a three-week session of uh, tomatis therapy. The, f the black line is the voice analysis before and the red line is the voice an analysis after. And this is the comparison of the two curves. And you see they're, they're recovering a lot of, of frequencies just for a first, first session. 
this is one thing that I would mention which doesn't have a, a, a direct relation with uh, what I will explain, but I think it's very, very important. You, you all know that while getting old, you're losing frequencies, you're losing your audition. And so this is the curve that should, you should have, uh, well, let's say, when you're, when you're 20, 30, 50, 60, 80. And you see, well, this is part of the communication language. So about 70, you're normally entering in this part, so you're losing. It's, it's more dif much difficult to understand what uh, people are saying. And what is very important is that this curve has been done in 1980. And now, when I have patients coming to, to make a, a test at, uh, at my place, and when I measure them, look what, what, what we have. Instead of being like this, they are here. So they, they have the same audition as young people, but it's very disturbing for them because it's, it's some kind of irritation. They are hearing too much. So the, if you do this on your hand, it's okay. But if you do this all the time on your hand, it will burn. And when we touch it, you will, you will cry. And this is what's happening to this per person who are in burnout. There are too much electrosmog, too much information, and so they're always, always uh, receiving uh, information. And so they, they, instead of having a normal shape of audition, they have, they have a very high and also very flat. You see, because normally, this is well done. The, the shape of the audition is, is well done because there is some kind of, uh, of movement in the curve to allow you to, to make the communication and not to be disturbed by the big truck passing uh, on the road and with uh, high frequency sound. So if you get stressed, then you're distressed, then you're yeah. distracted more by the... <laughs> yes. The, the, when, this person, I ask her, uh, what do you feel when you pass through, uh, you pass along a, a school and the uh, little children are playing? And she said, ah, because it's uh, too, high, too high frequencies, too sensitive to high frequencies. Very much related to certain aspects of autism as well, what we're sensitive to, because of stress, there may be trauma. So, how can the body now I interact with external frequencies? Well. Hearing sound, we all hear music in a normal way. We, the air is vibrating. You can also have bone sounds, which is uh, now more and more used, uh, even for uh, people who are making jogging. Because previously they used a normal set, and then they didn't hear the car coming. And now they use a bone connection headphone. And these bone connection headphones allow you to also uh, catch the, the, the noise the in, in the environment. There are scalar wave, well, we will talk more about, and also many mechanical vibration. So your body is also sensitive to frequencies that you can uh, do. There are a lot of uh, devices, and we have done uh, one I will show you uh, later. So I just told you at the beginning that my passion was heart rate variation, but mainly, you see, these are all blood pulses. And you see there is a wave of blood pulses. And this wave of blood pulses is linked to a variation of pressure we have in our vessels. And this variation of pressure we can feel with our hand. We can learn to feel with our hand. It's, you need to be uh, ver very sensitive, but it, uh, you can learn it. And that's what we learn in, in osteopathic school. So, and we can feel this, mo the, this movement uh, in all different parts of the body and all the different organs. And 
each organ of the body will have a movement um, which, and this movement will be ab about this, this rhythm here and about six times per minute. And this movement is relate, related to embryology. So it means that if you take your stomach, your stomach will have this kind of movement. And if your, your, your stress, for example, if you have an inflammation, the, the movement can maybe go one side and don't, don't come back or be completely fixed. And what the osteopath, osteopaths are doing is to interact with this movement and let it go again. So release the fixed part uh, of the body. So this is one thing that we are also uh, measuring with our uh, HRV uh, apps. And the other thing which is very important... Is iThrive.com, our partner Jan Cisek, take a bow, uh, made it happen. Thank you. I thrive. I thrive is dedicated uh, to to art coherence, breath, uh, breath measurements, and uh, yeah, yeah. And the, so powerful. Yeah. The other thing is the the brain ventricles. You see the brain. There is a the the, the brain ventricles here, and these brain ventricles normally uh, there is an emptiness of them. Uh, once or two times per minute. And it's a real problem if this emptiness is blocked. So n they are filled, you see, un unfortunately it's too rapid, but maybe you can see here. So these brain ventricles are filled a few times per minute, one or two times per minute. And then the, the frit is going down and a new frit is coming again. And when people don't have a good uh, drainage, pump, pumping, yeah. let's say, pumping, the, that is quite a pumping uh, mechanism. Uh, it's, uh, it's really, it's really n not easy to, to, to feel. And so it's, it's possible also in osteopathy to, to release this fixation. Could I just do one minute on that, Patrick? Just yeah, sure. So all our work on Kundalini mechanics started with Patrick's work with it. we showed the sacrocranial tidal rhythms in the spine liquid pump fit my equation the long wave tidals. They're low frequency. Patrick's an expert at Meyer wave. And their climax point is that pump to the pineal. I'm sorry, to the ventricles. Yeah. And the ventricle liquid horns, that's what Bentoff measured in capacitive accelerometer, proving the heart rate variability phase lock the ventricle liquids. Mm -hmm. And we always use the joke, joke, you say you're getting horny because literally the phone on waves <laughs> of your spine liquid pump have conserved the sexual juices and the phonon then cohered here and phonon coherence crystallizes the ventricle horns. <laughs> so, and that, which is a good introduction to some of the physics of Kundalini. And so the other aspect of bliss is if you don't get that pump completing the wave, which means if there's no relax between beats or still point, which Patrick here is calling the emptiness, where yes. it can drain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Okay, yeah. welcome. Uh, what's interesting also is that it's Fritz Pop who, who mentioned it, is that uh, the more the system is organized, the more complexity of a system, the lower will be the frequency of the system. So it's very interesting when we are talking about two times per minute. The normally we are talking about Hertz or the, the pressure wave, it's 0.1 Hertz. That's the Mayer wave. That's, That's the Mayer wave. Most it's called re really from fundamental. And so the, uh, the emptiness of the ventricles is lower. It's one or two times per minute. It can be also every two minutes. And Probably you have heard that there are a lot of yogi who are briefing at this speed. It's because they are in relationship with their body, with their internal rhythm. And I will show you later. later. Because they read Jose Orgoyas' famous book, Ride the Long Wave, Uncle Joe. The yeah. long wave is the longest wave you can breathe. Yeah. So, I just talked now, uh, told now uh, it was very low frequencies inside the body. 
Now we will try to use normal, let's say normal frequency and try to understand the, my latest research about it. So normally you have music ratio, or, um, harmonic ratio, you see the, the, this is the fundamental, the second, third, fourth harmonic, you see in relationship with music it's octave, fifth, third, etc. So I, I first tried to understand this, well this is the uh, uh, grid of all the frequencies related to the standard, musical, yes, scale. To standard musical scale. This is the this is a, a music chord C G E C no C E G okay you see and it's related to harmonics and so at the beginning I was really trying to understand uh, to 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 find a, a perfect mat uh, solution of how to interact with the body but even in music it's not true if you take a piano keyboard it's not perfect. The, the, the relationship, you, if you take, a f well, let's say a, a C and a G, normally you should have 1.5 and you see there is a, a, a small difference between. So even in music, it's not perfect uh, related That's to harmonic. The, the tempering process, the well-tempered clavier, is when Bach discovered that you had to do that so that the interval between adjacent 12th because the ratio between every frequency on your piano key is the twelfth root of two. And to have that line up where the seventh power of the twelfth root of two, the G was actually 1.5, you had to yeah, temper. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I didn't want to, to explain too much. Too much. Okay. <laughs> so, now let's look how, what is the information that you can find about how are the frequency of the different organ or, uh, or the frequency inside the body? Well, this is the main thing that you can find. You see there are music notes uh, at each chakra and it's working fine. Tomatis, I talked uh, before, said this part of the body is 100 hertz and you go to the top of the body and you arrive at 10,000. Another searcher, O'Shea, said beginning 100 here, on the top 1000. So there is 10 factor between. And it's understandable that because the, the frequency inside the body should increase. It's, uh, it's already the case here. Do, uh, C, D, E, and so it's going up in frequency. Why? Because when you have, uh, if you want to, to build a, a lower sound bell, you will build a very big bell. If you want to create a, a bell with a higher sound, you will choose a very thin bell and a small one. And so big, big part, big muscle, big bones are in the lower part of the body. And then you go up and up and up. And when you arrive on the top, your skull is very thin. So this relationship is okay, but now, is it right? Is it wrong? Is it right? Is it wrong? Let's try to understand a little bit more. Let's take about Nogier. Nogier sent uh, different uh, pulsed light on the body, and he found a map. And this map uh, he called uh, the different part A, B, C, D, E, F, G and he, he noticed this is the most important thing for us for, and for me that to, to get the same response in the same part of the body he has to multiply the frequency by 100 so the body responds the same thing if you multiply by 100, so we have 10, we have 100, and then maybe uh, we have... Uh, we know 1,000 hertz. It's yeah, right yeah, yeah, we have... Yeah, exactly. Okay, so yeah. a lot of information, who is right, who is wrong. And we have the opportunity last year to, to have uh, Stéphane Cardino and Anne-Catherine Martin, uh, who presented her last uh, book, and they, they have made a really, really, really beautiful research 
and they have found a new, a new map, but it, which you will see, which is quite close to the, to the other one, from one earth on the lower part of the body <coughs> up to 800 on the top. So you see we have this, we have Tomatis, uh, um, Stefan compared the, the free curve and you see there is a 10 factor between the different uh, the different uh, person. And now let's come to 1.618 which doesn't mean anything in music it's not 10, it's not uh, but this is the one we are using, this is the one we, who is in nature and it's completely crazy because if you take let's say three different frequencies and you don't care about which frequency they are if they are not in a music court, in a beautiful music court it will be very disturbing if the, the, you place this music in a good music, uh, these frequencies in a good music chord, the, you, the sound will be good. If we take 1.6 ratio and we send the sound, it will be good, like a music chord. But, but it doesn't have anything to what we, we know in music. So this is about the, the scale, where I think that it's already been, already been explained uh, a lot. And Again, if we take the scale of Dern, uh, there are a, lo a lot of frequencies which are very interesting for us. You remember we began with, with the Planck land here and multiply, 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 and then we arrive here on the top. Uh, this is no J frequency for the R. Oh, really? 20 Hertz, okay? Oh, 20 Hertz. You, ha you have the, the frontier between Alpha and Theta, 8. You see, and we go down, you go down, the, the breath of the child, the breath of the adult, uh, sacrocranial uh, pressure wave. That's the major wave right there. This is the major wave. But in some schools, they are using this one for healing. Oh, yes. okay. And they don't agree. They don't agree. One say, I'm right, you're wrong, and the other one, uh, but they both are right. And here, these are the, the yogi... Uh, breath and uh, the emptiness of, of the brain ventricles. And the sacrocranial lower frequencies, I think the titles are in the yeah. low end. Yeah. Uh, sorry? No, it's okay. It's okay. Well, I think, uh, again, the add and multiply and uh, what we have seen this morning and maybe this, uh, this video is nice because you see the, That's where the longitude, this is an animation right of, uh, yeah. Of the we'll what we we talked this morning. Yeah? It's a beautiful slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I think it's better than what I could observe. So this is a different, different things that we are uh, measuring. Uh, so this is I drive. We are looking for a, 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 a peak in um, in uh, the, in the pressure wave to to see exactly the uh, the frequency of the of the mayor wave, of the pressure wave, and see if you are briefing uh, in, in agreement. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, you just want to yeah. show the measurement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. yes these measurements. So you, you place them on, on your finger, it's, uh, and it's, there is a connection to, to the app, also and it takes app. your uh, HRV and PPG. Th this one is taking your HRV and PPG. PPG is a light sensor. So uh, the, the light is coming through your finger, will uh, take the information of the blood flow. So it will take I the information of the, the variation of the blood pressure, like I showed you uh, previously. Yeah. This, is, uh, this is the device and this is the pulse that you get. And you remember a lot of these pulse together, you get another wave in the wave, a bigger wave in the wave. Which is the blood pressure. And when we compare uh, the, the wave coming from the blood pressure variation and the, so which is a, a liquid component in, in the body, and we compare it with the electrical component, component of the heart, which is HRV, when you are not stressed, they both are in phase. So you see here, in blue, uh, it's uh, 
the, the wave coming from HRV and uh, in orange it is the wave coming from uh, the pressure wave, from, from the light sensor, from the PPG. And where, when you are not stressed, that's what Dan calls the, the power factor. So there is the, in, for electricians, they talk about cosinus phi also. The, the power factor technically is when the voltage wave is lined up with the amperage wave. Literally, voltage is pressure, amperage is amount of flow. Well, voltage has amperage equals wattage. So when electrical engineers line up the voltage with the amperage peak, then you can distribute more power, more power factor. Well, it turns out in your body, if the pressure wave of the heart is in phase with the flow peak, so you graph where the flow is max and where the pressure is max, and if the two graphs line up, you're distributing more power, and that's measurable, and it indicates relaxation. So this is uh, the scale that Dan uh, has defined uh, according to the Planck length and golden ratio. And what is very interesting is that if we take the map that Stefan Cardino has done and we are comparing with the value of Dan equation, look what we get. Second chakra, 130 in uh, Dan equation. Half uh, earth chakra, you see? And later in the slides when we see the exact frequency harmonics that Priori used before the Therify, yeah. exactly those numbers. Yeah, yeah, actually. yeah. And what is very interesting, it's uh, here, th it says the, this frequency of Dan is just between the sacred masculine and sacred feminine. It's, well, this is the, the map uh, that Stefan and, and uh, Catherine has done. And you see, even in the lower part, 50, 80, 130, and in, and in the top part of, of the body. Lukowski, Priory, all the, when they found the right frequency, yes. right, they all landed right there. That's just. <laughs> but they're not exactly the same. Well, I shall show you the chart. Yeah, well, that's yeah. Way. yeah, but, well, this is the map that, that, that they have done, but exactly the same. You, you, that's yeah. what I was looking for, precise frequency, yeah. but I don't care anymore. Uh -huh. I will explain. So, because I, I said the, the, the body was uh, an hologram, but can the body also be fractal? Because what, what we are looking for, for f to try to, to find frequency to interact with the body, it's, it's completely crazy. We have 100, 1000, and a mix. So I tried to, try to, ma to make a mix between octave and phi ratio and try to find this famous stand factor. So if we take an octave ratio here and we multiply or divide by golden number, if we go down a few octave or go up a few octave, we get this stand factor. So if we take now phi ratio here, octave ratio, we go up and up and up, you see we will have again a 10, 100, 100, also in relation with octave ratio. And we have all, so, so the 100 of Nogier, you see, it was, I began at 20, because uh, to make a comparison with Nogier, and you see, he said 2,050, six, but look, 2,040, uh, 460. Close it's very close. So th these 10 factor and 100 factor are very, very, I, f I think for myself that they are very important. And there is a relationship between phi, octave, and 10 factor. We have about 20 minutes left, are you Yes, okay, okay, okay. And so I, uh, I try to now make the relationship with this and also with this kind of uh, representation of uh, music uh, inside the body, which is used by people who are making healing sessions with uh, tuning forks. And they are using special tuning forks according to different music notes. And in fact, this way of thinking, we use it in our app, which is called uh, I Drive uh, Chakra, uh, maybe. Uh, 
Yes, this is the, the app. So if you, you, if you put your... Uh, <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> so if you take your, um, your art pa parameters, you can see according to the, the wave of the, your HRV, which part of your body is in resonance with, uh, with your breath and so with your and HRV. It only $5. <laughs> yes, and, very uh, cheap what, one. What Patrick pioneered there was he really found in the literature the low frequency key signature of your heart is directly correlated with which gland or chakra mm -hmm. was actually most energized. He found the literature, tracked it, and compared it. And so when that, when your low, heart low frequency reaches that mm -hmm. frequency, we know which gland is most triggered, mm -hmm. the chakra. Yeah. And so if we want to make a comparison with, well, I took this example, but I think that it could, it should also work with the. Uh, C, D, uh, up to B, uh, which is most used and most common, commonly used. Uh, so I try to, to use this kind of information and, and see if I could find a relationship between these musical notes and these frequencies. And if I apply this thing, so multiply or divide by 1.68 and, and work also with octave, I've got all the music notes here in relationship to the different chakra frequency from Stefan. So, again, if there is really this 10 factor, we should find it somewhere. And so, as I'm making a lot of uh, voice analysis, I, I said maybe I could find it somewhere in the voice analysis. And so I took a few voice analyses with beautiful missing part. You see this, uh, there are very separate and beautiful missing parts. And what I've done, if there is a 10 factor, if I enlarge the part between 100 and 1000 and put it on the, uh, the uh, the spectrum, the complete spectrum from 100 to 10,000, I should see something which could have, which it should be a correlation between. So you see there is a gap here, 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 you see the main gap. And now take a look at the upper part. See, it? there is the same thing. So this ratio is about 10. Yeah. That's great. They want to see the device. Yes, yes. Oh. It's almost finished. <laughs> <laughs> but I, they, they will show me. Ten minutes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, finally, what I, I think that now, with all this information, and this is all this information that we have used to create the frequency to interact with the body, with the small plasma ball that I will show you. Uh, in fact, we take the, the matrix of Dan, so the scale of Dan, all the frequency of the scale of Dan, and then inside we create a new matrix according to music ratio, not to, to disturb, uh, to, to make a bad, uh, bad chord of music, and also according to the, the different map that we have in uh, of the, the different part of the body. And it's quite amazing because we, while applying this, we can enter in communication with different parts of the body and select specifically different, different frequency. And uh, these frequency are uh, the, the one which are mostly interacting with the body but inside the big grid. And so I have, so I have uh, unfortunately, you, it, there is a lot of light here. It's not as strong as the, uh, the therapy uh, balls. So, so these are small plasma balls that I'm, I'm using and I'm sending to this plasma ball. Uh, maybe now you can, well, no, I don't think that you will see. But you see, in, in the dark, well, it, what, what uh, you're seeing, it's... Uh, in the dark. But when they, you turn it, can they feel it? If you two, turn too on, they might be able to feel it. Yeah. Today, you want? Okay. 
<coughs> so, uh, in, in Italy, you fast to be sitting between them or very near them. Uh, but when they're on, and when it's not so light in the room, you see this beautiful light pattern. And then uh, the program, which is related to explaining the sound of the mind, feeds the harmonics through the balls. And you can select, there's a menu that Patrick is going to show you, you know, heart, crown chakra, etc. And you can actually feel it. I certainly could. Actually, I felt the heart and the crown chakra one. I think the face felt it. I didn't feel all of them. Most of them I was able to feel. And this is parallel to what Paul has done with the new quantify. Uh, however, uh, Patrick, this, this device is lower power and lower cost. Actually, we have a special here for the show. It's a Port portable. You can use it. Uh, we have uh, Ch Chalet we using in the middle of the mountain, in the middle she of the wood. Yeah. Actually, in nature, yeah, yeah. because it works a longitudinal way to propagate. And this is so battery powered. There's a little control panel on each one. Uh, that, and she had amazing results, even with this healing. And we're talking in an area of a thousand euros for the whole system, plus a few bucks for software. So this is really very economic and yet extremely programmable and most people are going to feel it for sure and she had su significant success with various issues as well it's quite amazing Shelly Ed Evans in Western Canada yes I can add something a little detail um, yes uh, the conference on 5G dangers of 5G and there was a doctor from uh, Greece uh, Dimitri the very long Greek name and he uh, proposed that uh, uh, the uh, uh, ionic uh, oscillation cell frequency is 0.1 hertz. Yes, yes, they yes. Just they just discovered they are bloat in the brain. In the brain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The neurologist yeah. discovered 1 hertz up here in the brain. They didn't yeah, have yeah. any clue. That they didn't know before that there were bloat in the brain. The ionosphere, brain, yeah. spine liquid, 0.1 hertz. Man, the mayor is all over the place. Yeah. But Patrick, please, you continue. Patrick. Yeah, OK. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so I can put that on, but the problem is that we lo will not see anything. It's a little bit too Maybe the, the see yeah. Yeah, yeah, you see a bit, see but a the, 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 the sun is there and... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well. yeah. Maybe, yeah, well. It can be quite dramatic because you can play music through them too. The first, yeah. I have a set of them and I can... Yeah, yeah. The first thing we tried out is some opera. <laughs> but it's, but really, really, well, it's pretty powerful to watch that music. But we have another session with, uh, which will be more dedicated to all the app, and we will have more time to test. And uh, Patrick is going to display the app. But can you feel that now? Right? Yes, it's it's on. But uh, yeah. Yeah, actually, if, if, you sh if you're up here, my hands are tingling. I can see the lights beautifully. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you can, you can now that you can see but that. And when you maybe. modulate that with the right frequencies, you get yeah. all the kinds of effects we're talking this about. This is the app which is modulating the frequencies. But are you going to put that on the screen? I suppose that's too complicated for an hour. It, the options, the programmable options are just amazing. Then if you've seen the flame and sound software. Yeah. Um, in fact, you have a, a table inside the, well, do you, you, you see? ready to put it on the screen. Um, yes, but then it will stop. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's, it's, I think it's better. We will have more time the next. Uh, and so there's another. Uh, like, and be better to, to, yeah, to check. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. just uh, rapidly. So I will still do, say two things. The, First thing that I want, no, it's stop, it's stop. I can, I can play it back. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I, I just have to push play. Normally it, it should run again. Yes. And, uh, um, yes, so I wanted to check if the, if the frequency that I, the single frequency that I was looking for was appearing if I send it in the middle of a, 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 a grid of golden ratio and uh, and so what I have done I, I've connected uh, my brain wave well this, these are the balls maybe you can see better when, when oh it yeah. is in the dark yeah. and uh, yeah. and what I have done is that I've connected the, the two balls, so I place the two balls in the middle of the room 
and I, I've connected uh, the, the, my brainwave app to the plant, which is here, you see? And then I'm, I sent these specific frequencies in the room, and the plant get, it, get them. So you see, the, on the left, there, it's okay, I will do it. And that's just one of the screens right. from the flame right. and Wait, sound. Right. That yeah, this is the screen, it. okay. And this is the flame and sound. On the left, this is a plant sensor, and here this is a sensor filling in the room. And you will see, and now I'm sending a port. Uh, These are the frequencies. This, yeah. this, uh, is, this the is the frequency that I'm, I've selected in my table, but inside the big grid. Here's and this you see... Same uh, display for brain waves, because now we're okay. measuring life force that's, in a plant. Wonderful. Maybe, maybe. It's like you see, okay, you see, the, the yeah, this, is, this is the peak which is coming here. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. You see. Okay. Then I will go to, it's, a, it's the same app, huh? but... Uh, and you can, you can look at a tree and see which Schumann harmonics... So I, se I select alive. another frequency, which is 7.3, and, and then the I go to the, to the, the, to the brainwave part. Okay, okay. You, will see, you will see now this frequency will, will sort. It takes... A, well, let's say ten, 10 seconds and it, it's coming here, it's mm -hmm. coming. So you're transmitting in the room and the plant picks yeah, it up. Yeah. Yes. And I, I did it for a, a few frequencies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. sensitive to your emotions. Particularly in that 0 to 20 hertz bandwidth, it's brain waves, heart waves, all the power spectrum of plants and trees, yeah. Schumann, yeah. All, and, and all fit that 0 to 20, 30 hertz magic window. Mm -hmm. And then I want it also to to check on person. So I asked a few sensitive, very sensitive person. I was sending specific fre frequency and asked them what, that's what happened yesterday. Or some, when I, somebody was just clo very close to the ball and immediately when I sent the, the first frequency, which was the second chakra, somebody says, oh, I feel it here. So when you're quite relaxed and connected, you can, you can feel. But I wanted to check and so I, I ask a few very sensitive person to, to tell me wha what was happening inside when, when I was running the different frequency. And one of them asked me to work uh, on a, a liver. So I began with the liver frequency. And after a while, I asked her, so what do you feel? What's happening? And she said, I, uh, I have pain coming in my head. And I ask her, where in your head? Can you tell me where? And so I sent the specific frequency to the place she was showing me. And after a while, I ask her, and now? And then she said, oh, my, my, my pain in, in the head is gone, but now I feel something in my arm or something. So you see, you follow. And it's the same thing when you make a treatment in osteopathy. When you, you scan the person and you say, well, this part is fixed, this part is fixed. And here it's okay. So you, you release the pain, and then you check again everything, and there is something that uh, is appearing somewhere else, and which is much stronger than the two other. And it is the same thing that we have done with, with the plasma ball, with just following and let the, 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 the body react and adapt, and then we continue again and again and again. So this, at the first, when she told me I had pain in my head, I said, oh my God, what's happening? But you see, it's just a normal process because by releasing a fixed part related to a li liver, probably that it opens something else somewhere else. And then by releasing this part, and then we go and, and we make a, a big travel inside the body. Okay. Okay. Just one thing that I... So, as I, as I said at the beginning, so uh, the air, sending sound to the tympanum, the bones, uh, conduction, uh, plasma, electromagnetic waves, but it's also possible to have uh, vi vibration. And Yes, yes, sure. Okay. 
divider is making very few things. Who want to test? Or who would like to? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Well, just, you can just play them on. Okay, wait, because, oh, there is a mix in, it's in my, okay, okay, you just can take, you put this part to, with the, uh, to, to your body, okay, no, it's, like this, no, yeah, uh, like this, okay, and this, okay, or you could put it on your body, or on Or you can put it on your sacrum, and then you will see the. It's much stronger on bones than on. A Yeah, it's good. To, uh, to, to the lower part, the lower part. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's she, she is feeling the, the, the more she waits, the more the, the wave will go up it's in, in, in the body. It's normal because uh, it's on the sacrum, so it's a bone conduction, conduction, so it will go up and up. I think she had a still point. Yeah. So you can feel it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So d during the next uh, session, uh, yeah, it we, we, will, we will have time for people to. There's lots of toys. The yeah, yeah, yeah. speakers, the plasma, the mechanical oscillation, you've got the brain wave, uh, life force measure. So there's a lot of toys to play with here. We just scratched the surface here. But I think this was the time window, right? Great. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.